Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to one of these vlogs things, whatever it is I'm doing. Interesting topic today, we're going to talk about the power of talking, or the power of communication. So, let's talk about just basically, what I want to talk about here is the idea that talking is probably the best way to solve a lot of things. Now, it's kind of like, there's some reason I want to talk about this is some setup and stuff but let's what do I mean by this like when you've ever been in a situation where you know no matter what what part of your life and time in your life sometimes you just need to talk and that can solve so much stuff you know you might need to talk to a parent a friend a partner any kind of thing like that um, and just discuss things to help you either get things out that you need to say or to put your mind in a better place. Now, said in my last video, not the greatest start to 2018. Don't really want to go into why, but it did. Uh, some stuff happened, and I, I kind of feel like after having a conversation, it made things much easier to understand, and it made things, you know, put me on the right track in a lot of ways. And kind of just wanted to talk about that because. This is something that you see a lot of the time with with people, you know, if you're ever having an argument with someone, you know, arguments never solve anything. They're a waste of time, essentially. You know, it makes you feel better, maybe. But uh, the idea that if you can talk to a civil person, you know, about a problem or a discussion that you need to have or anything along those lines that revolves around you talking to one person, two people, three people... Um, to, I find that, you know, this is just personal preference, but I find that that makes a huge difference rather than taking any other approach. And the reason this works for me personally is because I'm the kind of person who, like, I, I'm dyslexic and I'm dyspraxic and all these other things, and talking is my main method of communicating. Like, I don't want to have a conversation that involves text due to my spellings and uh, poor sentencing, poor grammar, all this sort of stuff. So when I have the opportunity to talk to people, that's the best way for me to communicate and it also having being able to whether that's on a phone or in person obviously in person makes it a bit easier because you then have that um <clears throat> thing where you're seeing body language you get to see them the, these people and they can talk back to you and it's easy but if you via phone but you know whatever um i think it makes a huge difference i think being able to talk to someone and hear them back and hear them responding in a way makes a massive difference to, rather than sending a message because you know they might read it and the response you get they might mean well but it might not come across that way but also in terms of a lot of things like i said like arguing and all these other ways that you can you know the conversation sometimes just needs to happen because it makes you understand something better it makes you realize how someone else is feeling uh puts you in a better frame of mind it can put you in a worse frame of mind but it puts you in a place that i find generally is better for you and what i mean by that is if you have an understanding uh with said person or people then you can accept things and understand that you know you are you have now have information you have now have fact and you're not no longer dealing with your own mind. And with some people, I don't know how many people uh, do this, but I, th I think a lot of people I've met, and myself included, sometimes you need to have a conversation with someone, and your brain goes into overdrive, and it's going round and round and round and round in your head, and you're going, it could be this outcome, it could be this outcome, don't forget to say this. And you, you, by the time you have the conversation with someone, you've had it about 50 times in your own noggin. And uh, that is just... <sighs> That's one of the worst things, I think. Sometimes you just build up so much stress and um, you build up this, uh, this how you think the conversation is going to go and then it doesn't. You know, that can be good or bad. Um, but <clears throat> usually I find that once you've actually had the conversation with, you know, it could be a manager and work. You know, it could be literally anything and anybody that you need to talk to about something. Um, you know, when you consider maybe an awkward conversation, which you maybe consider, um, you know, a conversation that you, you don't want a negative response from. Maybe that's the kind of thing uh, that could, you know, put, put you off of it. And, you know, you might have real bad anxiety, which makes it even more worse. You know, I think it, it's possible that there's a lot of different ways that it could uh, you know you can be set up and that's the funny thing about talking because when you talk to people most people lovely 
most people if you need to talk to someone right look this is a difficult subject i need to talk to you about this is something difficult or something i need to tell you most people are pretty civil about it you are going to get one or two people that aren't particularly great about the whole thing but if you're having a conversation and you put yourself forward and you're like look I just need to have this conversation with you about A, B, and C, and you'd have that conversation, and then you're better off because you finally got all that stress and stuff out of your head. They're better off because you know they might be their side as well. They might need needed to talk to you. They might you might need to bring stuff to their attention that they didn't know, and I think it makes a huge difference actually sitting and talking and and having that kind of a, a experience and i think it's for me it's always been a very powerful um powerful way of just doing things i'm not the kind of person who likes to people will laugh at this i'm not the kind of person who likes to argue with people i like discussions but when all is said when all is said and done like i want to be able to talk to someone and be able to say look you know this is the thing i need to say to you and uh, hopefully uh, that's resolved and that's done and you can move on and, and everyone's happy um, it's kind of a weird one I uh, normally put a bit of planning when I talk about these subjects but this is kind of just off my emotion at the moment um, hopefully going forward I will be when I'm doing any more of these I'll be feeling a bit better um, but just always understand that or try and get into your head that every situation can pretty much be talked through there is no need to raise your voice there is no need to get like angry or stressed i mean it's hard sometimes with emotions and depending on what you've just found out or what you you need to talk to about it can be you know it can be stressful and it can be upsetting can be angry you know but i think if you can have a level head and talk to whoever you need to talk to and have those conversations you're better off for it me personally like that's what works for me i find talking to the people I need to talk to is is the only way for me to do it I won't or try not to or at least I don't feel like I get angry I mean I get frustrated sometimes uh, when I need to do it but that's partly because you build it up in your head and you, you want the other person to listen to you and, and things like that but generally speaking um, I find that talking is a really good method regardless of what your situation is like you know you just need someone to listen to you or you need that a discussion it's always good and another thing is always remember that like if you are in a situation in any kind of relationship work relationship personal relationship or uh f f you know family members and stuff well you remember that like you're more like, likely going to sort stuff out that way anyway you know be honest make sure you recognize that these people in your life you know aren't heartless you know if you need to talk to them about a difficult subject the chances are they're probably going to be okay with it you know sometimes it's a bit of a shock to the system you know you're not always going to get the answers responses you want but they're not you know the, the people around you that matter the most aren't just going to leave you hanging and aren't just going to leave you to deal with stuff on your own generally like or you know they're not going to suddenly stop listening to you because you said something really dumb like if you have something that you feel and they consider it dumb then they're probably not worth knowing it anyway but just always yeah just just like my train of thought at the moment is uh this is something that's uh quite uh relevant to me at the moment and i feel like a lot of people should definitely you know most i think most people talk anyway i think i'm kind of preaching to the choir with this but just the idea that you know no matter where you are in life or what situation good bad strange weird whatever you know there's always someone to talk to you know and i think that's the best way to deal with pretty much anything um no matter how your emotions feel keep calm and talk and uh things will work out in the end um that's how i look at it anyway so thank you very much for watching it's a fairly short video um i just needed to get this out hopefully you enjoyed it uh if you want to have a discussion with me about it feel free to write in the comments message me whatever let's let's talk about it but uh thank you very much and i'll see you next time